Kia ora koutou. I call um, Lawrence Hill. Mr Speaker, um, it gives me great pleasure to speak to the Financial Services uh, Legislation Amendment Bill, and I congratulate this government on bringing it before this House in its first 100 days, noting, of course, that it is a National Party and former government piece of legislation. Ladies and gentlemen, members of this House, it's actually easy to forget why this came here. No, it's easy to forget why we're here today. In the GFC, in the GFC which was so well managed by this government, this government from this side, I should say, a lot of people lost a lot of money. A lot of people were ripped off. And so this legislation seeks to address that. Look at our banks. Our banks are very well run. Some of the best in the world, and very few people lost money from the banking sector in New Zealand, even in comparison to Australia. But the advice that's given in this space, Mr Speaker, is actually not up to the standard that New Zealanders need or deserve, and this bill seeks to address that. It's, in my view, tidy up legislation, and it should occur. And as the Honourable Chris Finlayson said, there are cl plenty of examples, particularly in the Lower North Island, where people have lost millions. Hard-earned savings, farms have been sold, they've gone to get good practical advice and they've been ripped off. That's not to say that all financial advisers are like that. This bill, though, tries to tidy up those people by bringing in some discipline and some accountability which is prevalent in most other professions. If you look at how lawyers operate, if you look at how real estate people operate, they all have a set of rules and regulations that protect the individual, the people that we represent in transactions. And if you look at Clause 431H, it's particularly about the duty to meet standards for competence, knowledge and skill. And then if you go on to subsequent clauses of the bill, 431ZF and 431ZG, they are about protecting people's money and property by ensuring that it's used through trust funds and other mechanisms. And I commend that to this House, because through no fault of their own, many of our citizens that we represent have lost millions. I also, Mr Speaker, commend this bill to the House because some of the Rabo advice that might, might have appeared quite futuristic five years ago is now widely robo, sorry, now widely used by many people. Many people now use the internet for all sorts of things to find out, and so this bill means that it's non-specific. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the Select Committee. But I do want it to be made clear that there are a number of small operators that are worried about this bill, so we need to find a balance between what is in this legislation without unnecessary compliance costs. I'm happy to support this bill going to the next stage. Thank you. I call Gareth Hughes. Uh, kia ora, Mr Speaker. Nā mi, nā mi nui, kia koutou. I'll take this mic. Uh, kia ora, Mr Speaker. Nā mihi nui, kia koutou. Kia ora.